Welcome to all my dear students. This side Neha Sabnani, your maths teacher. I hope you all are good and safe at your home. Students, in the previous video, I have already explained you the term integer with the help of integer board. Now, in this video, we will see other terms related to integer. But before coming to the next topic, we will see in short the introduction of integers. So as you can see here, I have drawn one number line. On that number line, I have shown you on my right hand side, I have written all the positive numbers and on my left hand side, I have shown you all the negative numbers. So, it means that 0 is also an integer, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all these are positive integers, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, all these are negative integer. 0 is neither positive integer nor negative integer, but yes, it is an integer. Now, let us see the plotting of integers on number line. I have taken here example of minus 4. To plot the integers on number line, you have to draw number line. First, you will write 0 and on the right hand side of 0, you will represent the positive integers and on the left hand side of 0, you will write all the negative integers. Students don't do one mistake, don't start minus 1 from here. Always start minus 1 just on the left hand side of 0 and always write plus 1 on the just right hand side of 0. After writing all the numbers, minus 4, wherever you get the digit minus 4 and this is the integer which you have to show on number line. I hope plotting of integer is clear to you. The next topic is adding and subtracting of integer. Now, addition and subtraction of integer, you have to remember four signs rule. See, what this sign rule says, plus plus, whenever two plus in positive integers you have, you will get the answer positive. Whenever you have two negative integer, minus minus, then the answer will be always minus. Whenever you have one positive and second negative integer, the answer will be negative. And whenever you have one more negative integer and one positive integer, in that case also the answer will be negative. But always remember that in case of addition and subtraction, we take the sign of greatest number. So this rule of sign, I will explain you with the help of example. So let's start. 6 plus 4, both the integers are positive. So your answer is 10. Then minus 6. Don't read the this number as 6. It is minus 6 and minus 4. Minus 6 minus 4. You know that according to rule minus minus is plus. So 6 plus 4 is 10 and the question arises here that which sign will come here? Greatest number. Which is the greater number? The greater number is 6. And before 6 we have minus number. That's why minus is the sign which will come in the answer. Then we have next example that is 6 minus 4. One integer is positive and another is negative. So plus minus is minus. That's why 6 minus 4 is 2. Let us take next example. Minus 6 plus 4 plus minus is always minus. Therefore, 6 minus 4 is 2. And see here student, minus 6 is greater number. 6 is greater number and with 6 we have sign minus. That's why our answer will come in minus sign. I hope this thing is clear to you. And in class 6 also, we have gone through all these rules. Now, let us see the next thing that we are going to cover in this part. The next thing is additive inverse. According to additive inverse, if there is any digit minus a, suppose minus a is there, the, in the additive inverse of minus a all, will always be positive, that is 
plus a or simply you can say a. For example, minus 5. The additive inverse of minus 5 will be 5. Next example is 7. The additive inverse of 7 will be minus 7. Additive inverse means just opposite. If any number is positive, then the additive inverse is negative. And if any number is negative, then the additive inverse is positive. Okay. Now, here one thing that you have to keep in your mind is that Additive inverse of 0 is 0 itself. Don't write minus 0 or plus 0. Just simply remember that the additive inverse of 0 is 0 itself. Okay. Now the next thing that you have to keep in mind is that every positive integer is greater than 0 and also greater than every negative integer. It means that each and every positive integer is always greater than 0. For example, 4 is greater than 0, 2 is greater than 0, 3 is greater than 0, 6 is greater than 0. And also positive integer is greater than every negative integer. 4 will, for example, 4 will be always greater than minus 3. 2 will be always greater than minus 2. Therefore, always positive integers are greater than negative integers. Now, next thing that you have to keep in your mind is that 0 is greater than every negative integer. Suppose if there is digit minus, there is number minus 10. So, if, if the question comes that 0 is greater or minus 10 is greater, always remember that 0 is greater than the negative integers. For example, 0 is greater than minus 2, 0 is greater than minus 3, 0 is greater than minus 7. Next thing is that absolute value of an integer is its numerical value with no regard to its sign and it is always positive. What does this mean? For example, absolute value means when they, whenever there are two modular signs, it means that if the number is negative, then the answer will be positive. This modular signs represent that always the answer will be positive. Whether, for example, I have shown you 3. 3 is positive, then the answer will be always positive as I told you. Minus 8, the answer will be 8. This modular sign removes the negative sign and brings the answer in the positive manner. I hope the things which we have discussed here are pretty clear to you all. Students, in the next video, we will see properties of integers in case of addition and multiplication. Thank you and have a nice day.